What's happening with Bishop here then? Is he still in dispute with Alala? He's coming off earlier. Is he? We went and let me see him again. Okay, I'll run in now. Good afternoon, we're at Willisbill Stadium for this important Stones Bitter Championship game between Warrington and Bradford Northern. The teams this afternoon, Warrington line up at 1, Brian Johnson, 2, Des Drummond at 3, Paul Cullen, 4, Joel Riparty, 5, Dave Lyon, at 6, John Woods, 7, Martin Crompton, 8, Les Boyd, 9, Bob Jackson, 10, Tony Humphreys, 11, Gary Sanderson, at 12, Mark Robertson, 13, Ronnie Dwayne, Substitutes for Warrington, 14, Neil Harmon, 15, Kevin Tamati. Bradford, they line up at 1, Keith Mumby, 2, Phil Ford, at 3, Steve McGowan, 4, Gary Mercer, 5, Roger Simpson, at 6, Russell Stewart, 7, Andy Robinson, 8, David Hobbs, at 9, Brian Noble, 10, Brendan Hill, 11, Wayne Heron, 12, Cal Fairbank, and 13, David Redfern. Substitutes for Bradford, 14 is Richard Francis, and 15, Paul Gration. Referee this afternoon is Fred Lindop from Wakefield, his touches are Mr Fallon and Mr Morris. The two captains, Les Boyd and David Hobbs, just tossing the coin in the centre of the field. An important game for both sides. Bradford lying second in the table. Warrington third, just one point between the two sides. So a real important game for both sides to win. It'll be Bradford who'll get the game underway in their change strip of red and white. Warrington will be playing from left to right. In this first half, as we look, in the white jerseys with the primrose and blue V. It'll be Keith Mumby. He'll get the game underway. And this Stones versus Championship game between Warrington and Bradford Northern is underway. It's a deep kick. Des Drummond's there. He takes it safely. Des Drummond there moving out of his own 25. Crashes into Brian Noble and Wayne Heron. And he's brought down midway inside his own 25. Bob Jackson goes on the blind side, drives in, stops to shot his own 25-yard line by David Hobbs. Sanderson this time once again is played on the blind side to Humphreys. Humphreys powers in, drives forward, gets away from one tackle, finally stopped by Gary Mercer. Jackson once more, misses out Sanderson, swings it back to Dave Lyon. Lyon kicks downfield, first test for Keith Mumby and Phil Ford. It's Mumby who takes it safely, thinks about an immediate kick but runs straight. And he runs straight into Mark Robertson, Ronnie Dwayne. Andy Robinson out to Phil Ford. Ford though caught by Drummond, gets it away to Robinson across the line. It goes now to Brendan Hill. Hill knocks off one man, nice one-handed pass away to Gary Mercer. Mercer now moves forward, but it's a good cover tackle coming in from Bob Jackson. Ford plays it out this time. Robinson, nice slip pass, but Mark Roberts quickly up there to stop Carl Fairbank. Mark Roberts also in the tackle. Noble this time, plays it outright with Hobbs, Hobbs the cool sidestep, still Hobbs, it's a little risky pass, Hill, sloppy play from Bradford, finally it's picked up by David Redfern, but the referee spots the forward pass, and that results in the first scrum of the afternoon. Martin Crompton puts the ball in, Warrington in possession, Crompton feeds Cullen, Cullen on to Johnson, Johnson, look three, he's on the outside, looks for the gap, brought down by Mumby and Stewart, Riparty takes it from the play, the ball and drives in, knocks off one man, crashes forward, makes four or five yards before he's stopped. Jackson this time, gives the dummy, straightens up, makes it to the Bradford Northern 25-yard line before he's brought down. First real opportunity of the game is Warrington launching the first real attack of the match, it's out with Crompton, short to Humphrey, Humphrey's powers forward, three Bradford forwards there to stop him. Bob Jackson has stayed down, just back to his feet now as Sanderson takes it. Hands it out right with Crompton. Crompton gives a dummy, looks for a gap himself. Nearly found it, but David Hobbs spotted and brought him down. Six tackle. Sanderson plays it out to John Woods. Juggles with it, beats his man though. Throws the ball back. It's going loose, not back. Finally picked up by Mark Roberts. Tries to drop goal. And just goes wide. Good thinking though from Mark Roberts. There seemed nothing on. But quickly thought about the drop goal, but just went wide. And that results in a 25 tap for Bradford Northern. Noble plays it on to Hill. Hill drives in. Brendan Hill, one remembers, had a scorching game in the cup time here last season when Bradford not waiting out of the Challenge Cup. As David Hobbs has stopped in midfield by Les Boyd and Tony Humphreys. Noble, short one to Robinson. Robinson swings it back into space. Nice flying gap here. What a good tackle there on Steve McGowan from Bob Jackson. Gary Sanderson dive on 
dives on him to make sure he doesn't get any further ground. It's now on this near side, swung across to Mercer. Mercer's still going. Noble swings it out to Hobbs. Hobbs kicks into space over on that far side. Dave Lyon takes it safely. Lyon looks to beat Phil Ford. Phil Ford brings him down along with Steve McGowan and push him towards the touchline. Referee waves play on. Santelez Boyd. Boyd drives in. Throws the ball back. Bob Jackson out to Martin Crompton. Crompton jinks about. Gets away from one man, but Quinn back. Wayne Heron finally brings him down. John Woods at the play of the ball. Goes himself from the play of the ball. Crashes in. John Woods playing against his old teammates, of course. Hanging from Bradford at the start of the season. It's out with Crompton. Crompton deflects off the Hanzo Bradford player and picked up by Ford, but Ford doesn't get past Les Boyd. Goes out to Hill. Hill drives forward, makes two, three yards before he's stopped by Bob Jackson and Gary Sanderson. Noble this time out with Robinson across the line with Hobbs. Redfern slick pass, but it's not taken by Fairbank. And that will be a knock on and a scrum down on the halfway line. Way to nil, Bapa Northern nil. Five minutes gone so far in this first half. Crompton puts the ball in, Wellington in possession, Crompton out to Woods, Woods brings in Cullen, Cullen looking to beat his man but it's a good tackle from Mumby. John Woods goes himself in the play of the ball, a good chip over the top, an obstructed referee ways play on it, going back for it is Cal Fairbank, Fairbank gets away from John Woods, Cal Fairbank swings it out now onto Mercer, but Bob Jackson, uh, Tony Humphries is there along with Les Boyd. Noble, short one to Hobbs. Made much ground and pushed back by Mark Roberts and Bob Jackson. Noble, trust to Robinson, Redfern. Gap opens up for McGowan. Goes out this side, little sidestep from Wayne Heron. Throws the ball back, but the ball then dropped by McGowan. That is a scrum down. Happy with this first scrum. Crompton puts the ball in, another scrum, it goes on to John Woods. Woods now looking to go through the gap. Looks like that's all tight for a party, but Woods just brought down just inside the northern 25. Gary Sanderson this time goes on the blind side, moves forward, makes five yards. He stopped midway inside the Bradford Northern 25. Woods this time, out to Crompton, Crompton, couple of dummies, brings in Mark Roberts, Roberts packing forward, trying to get the ball away, but the ball smothered this time by Cal Fairbank, Roberts finally brought to the floor. Jackson, looking for a gap himself, drives in, he stopped 10 yards short. Couple of tackles left for Warrington, Sanderson to Crompton, little kick through, ricochets off a couple of legs and Crompton follows it up and scores. Got in, you know, a couple of ricochets, but Martin Crompton kept his eye on the board. Ball and put the first points on the board, a try from Martin Crompton. And makes it Warrington 4, Bradford Northern 0. Martin Crompton the scorer. Little kick through from the play of the ball, took a couple of lucky ricochets off Bradford players. But Crompton followed the ball up and puts the first points on the board. Try scorer Martin Crompton. So John Woods, and he strikes it safely through, and makes it Warrington 6, Bradford Northern 0, with 7 minutes gone of the game, and 5 start for Warrington. This time it's David Hobbs who restarts, fires one deep and one bounce and that will be a drop out from the post. Good kick there from David Hobbs. So John Woods puts 
one high down the centre. Robinson's there, takes it safe. He immediately passes it on to Keith Mumby. Mumby runs straight at Bob Jackson. Jackson brings him down along with Ronnie Dwayne. Bradford then their first real venture inside the Wellington half. It's Noble, short one to David Hobbs. Hobbs turns in the tackle, gets it away to Noble. Short one to Robinson, across to Russell Stewart. On to Redfern, Redfern swings a nice one out to McGowan. But a good tackle from Joe Rapati stops Steve McGowan. Phil Ford knocks on. And that will be a scrum down, midway inside the Wellington half. Crompton puts the ball in, Bradford in possession, Robinson gets the ball away to Stewart. But Stewart stopped by John Woods. Redfern this time across to Robinson, floaty pass into the hands of McGowan, he took it off his boot laces. He's so followed by Rapati who brings him down. This time it's Roger Simpson. Out right to Gary Mercer. Mercer moves into the Wellington 25 before he's stopped by Gary Sanderson and Ronnie Dwayne. Noble swings it back this time to Wayne Heron. A couple of tackles left for Northern. Looking for a quick reply to that Crompton try. Noble, Robinson, run around, move with Hobbs. Gap for Redfern. Bigger gap for Mumby. Mumby looks for support. Brian Johnson, though, has him well covered along with Cullen. Six tackle for Northern. Seven or eight yards from the Wellington line. Out to Phil Ford, he tries to kick through. The ball's dropped, but a penalty given to Bradford Northern for a trip. And that shall give Northern an easy two points right in front of the posts. And David Hobbs it is. Right in front of the posts, and this should be an easy two points for the Bradford captain. Totally different style to John Woods. Woods usually now would have put it over, just puts the ball down, strikes it over. Hobbs, though, even though it's right in front of the posts, still taking plenty of deliberation over the kick. It finally does come up and strikes it through. Bradford pulled two points back with a penalty goal from David Hobbs. It's Bradford Northern 6. Bradford Northern 2, Warrington 6, with just over 10 minutes gone in the first half. Woods then restarts, finds one deep. Mumby's there and takes it nicely. Keith Mumby then moving after his own 25, runs straight into Gary Sanderson and Mark Roberts. Noble swings across to Robinson, gives a dummy, looks for a gap himself. Sanderson moves across to bring him down along with Bob Jackson. Noble, Brendan Hill. Hill storms forward. And John Woods has pinched the ball in the tackle. And John Woods comes up with the ball. Crompton, Jackson. Jackson tries to go through himself. Sanderson out left with Woods. Woods onto Humphreys. Humphreys straightens up. Runs hard, still going, Sony Humphreys. Jackson to Boyd. Boyd knocks off Redfern, crashing through. Finally stopped on the Bradford Northern 25. Jackson across to Crompton, Woods, Rapati, but Rapati well caught by Robinson. Six tackle then for Wellington. John Woods puts up a high kick, but that will be too long. And Bradford Northern will have a tap from their own 25 yard line. Noble takes it to Brennan Hill. Hill runs in strong, but a good tackle from Gary Sanderson. Noble, short one this time, on to Heron. Heron makes good ground before he stopped. Noble, out wide it goes, Robinson, Hobbs, slip hands to Stewart. But Stewart delays his pass and is caught by Boyden, Ronnie Dwayne. 
Hobbs shows the ball. Gets the pass away, but it's dropped and Rapati has it. And Warrington back in possession. Ronnie Dwayne now in possession. Trying to drive down the centre. Goes out with Crompton. Cross the line to John Woods. Woods into the hands of Cullen. Cullen to Drummond. But the ball is dropped. Drummond back on it. But that will be a knock on and a scrum down. So a scrum down immediately blows right on the halfway line. Ball in from Robinson. Northern in possession, Robinson, Simpson managed just to get that as it hits his chest. Russell Stewart plays it across to Robinson, fly through the gap now, Gary Mercer, Mercer still going but Des Drummond came across from his wing to bring him down. Good tackle from Des Drummond there as Mercer was flying through the gap, it switched the other way now with Redfern, long pass into the hands of Heron, Heron finds the gap, still Wade Heron still going, gives a nice dummy, Heron still going, as his pass goes straight in the hands of Des Drummond who's back to another try saving Tackle and this time back to pinch the ball. Drummond there, his defensive play. First going across the field to bring down Mercer and then in a timely place to intercept the pass from Heron. And Warrington bringing the ball away with Boyd who plays it quickly and drives forward again. And a fist throwing the tackle there which Results in a little bit of a skirmish. Whereas Boyd played the ball to himself, moved forward, the Bradford player gave him a little punch in the face and Boyd retaliated. The noble being called over by the referee, Mr Lindup, after being informed by his referee, Mr Morris. Uh, the referee also wants in a word with Les Boyd. So Dave Lyon, right footed, puts a good kick into touch from Dave Lyon. Fine kick. Takes Warrington back in the northern half. 15 minutes gone of the game. Boyd crashing in, runs in hard. Gets away from one tackle, finally stopped by Brian Noble. Bob Jackson out with Crompton. Brings it back to Sanderson. 6-2 Warrington lead then. Just over 15 minutes gone in this first half. Crompton to Woods. Woods on the burst comes Mark Roberts. Gets the ball back to Woods. Woods on to Jackson. Jackson to Sanderson. Sanderson looking to get through the gap. What caught this time by Noble once more. Jackson out with John Woods. Woods to Ronnie Dwayne. Dwayne gives a dummy. Still going through. Dwayne finally being brought down by Cal Fairbank and David Redfern. Jackson this time, swings it out to John Woods, to Crompton, juggles with it, feeds Des Drummond, Drummond swings it back to Cullen, Cullen beats his man, but the referee brings play back for a forward pass it looks like. No, he's given a penalty to Bradford Northern. So Bradford Northern there, look a bit of a let off. As Paul Cullen has found the gap, but due to have been an obstruction. Mumby then, right footed, makes no mistake with the kick for touch. Noble hands it on to Brendan Hill. He's hit with a good tackle from Gary Sanderson and Mark Roberts. Short one this time, Hobbs swings it back, but this time Les Boyd quickly by Mark Roberts. And Warrington giving Bradford not much room to move at the moment. Noble this time swings it back with Hobbs. Stewart. And Mumby's found the gap. Mumby now going through. Mumby finds support from Phil Four back inside to McGowan who drops it. Bradford Northern then once again missed another chance. As Mummy found a huge gap, went through it. Phil Ford may have been wiser to go for the corner himself. Decided to cut back inside and McGowan couldn't hold the pass. 
And that results in a scrum just five yards from the Warrington line as Les Boy goes back to take his place in the scrum after receiving a slight knock as he went in with a strong talent, John Andy Robinson. Thompson puts the ball in, Robinson knocks on. Scrum then reforms. They move across to the correct position by the referee. And it goes, once in possession, Crompton. Mark Roberts to Ronnie Dwayne. Dwayne What's a suspicion of a bit of a high tackle from Heron. Just to be fair though, it's Bob Jackson. Jackson on to Sanderson. Sanderson stopped by Carl Fairbank. Coming up to halfway through this first half, just Warrington with a four-point lead at 6-2. Dave Lyon kicks downfield. A good kick from Dave Lyon, sending Keith Mumby and Roger Simpson back downfield. Mumby will pick it up right on his own line. Got support from Roger Simpson. Mumby tried to go through himself and he's stopped by Joe Raparty. And Bob Jackson, fine kick that from Dave Lyon. Roger Simpson takes the ball from the acting half-back position, stopped by Gary Sanderson. David Redfern, short to Brendan Hill. Redfern once more swings it out to Hobbs. Hobbs, his turn to kick downfield, that looks a good one as well. Bouncing towards the touchline, but favours Warrington. Brian Johnson's there, takes it safely. Brian Johnson then moves forward, and he's caught by Steve McGowan. Dave Lyon swings across to Crompton, on to Ronnie Dwayne. Woods to Sanderson. Sanderson's got arms down the centre, good, the good run from Gary Sanderson. Jackson this time, shot onto Crompton, Crompton his turn to kick downfield, one bouncing it to touch for a scrum down. Andy Robinson then comes round to put the ball in for Bradford and it goes, no in possession, Stewart stopped by Ronnie Dwayne. Andy Robinson out to David Redfern, overlap over on that far side, Mercer tries to go through and does, Gary Mercer now into space, John Woods though covers back. Phil Ford to McGowan, slip past the Fairbank, gets away from a couple of tackles does Carl Fairbank, looks to the port, finds it from Mercer, Mercer flying through again, still Mercer, still pounding forward, good play here for Northern but Mercer's dropped the ball. For Warrington back in possession, Brian Johnson up with the ball, it's out now with Boyd, Boyd to Humphreys, Humphreys, Humphreys now moving forward, throws the ball to Boyd, well that will be a forward pass. If you're eight, it's a Warrington crowd over on that far side. Ball goes in from Robinson. And the scrum will have to reform. Ball goes in again. Bradford wants to get in possession. Russell Stewart. Good tackle from Ronnie Dwayne. Out it goes with Redfern. Long tossy pass to McGowan. McGowan not making much ground. Heron swings it back to Hill. Nice slip pass to Stewart. Robinson into space. David Hobbs. Hobbs now is through. Lots of support. But his pass goes straight in the hands of Mark Roberts. And Bradford let another chance go begging. This time it's Drummond. Drummond crashes forward. And Bradford offside. And Warrington have injuries strewn across the pitch at the moment, receiving treatment. Looks like Ronnie Dwayne also lying down is John Woods now receiving treatment. 
So two Warrington players injured at the moment. Bradford Niles and a mile offside. It's Tony Humphreys who takes it. Humphreys still going. And the ball has from Des Drummond. Now that will be a knock on. I'm going to scrum down. Ball goes in, Norden in possession, Roger Simpson, stopped by John Woods, Neil Harmon warming up at the moment for Warrington, as Ronnie Dwayne still receiving treatment, across it goes with Keith Mumby, stopped by Paul Cullen, Mercer, and the ball being pinched, up with the ball comes Bob Jackson, Boyd, Bradford offside, And Warrington will try and put another two points over from the boot of John Woods. Top of the goal kicking charts, of course, at the moment. Woods then comes up, strikes it well, and no problem from John Woods. Wellington 8th, Bradford Northern 2, with 15 minutes left in this first half. Hobbs once again fires one deep. Drummond takes it safely. Drummond then moves forward, beats Noble, crashes through, clears it 25. Mark Roberts moving into space, throws the ball back to Crompton. Crompton beats one man, finally stopped in midfield. The ball goes loose, picked up by John Woods, but that'll be a knock on and a scrum down. Robinson puts the ball in, Norden in possession once more. Stewart swings it to McGowan. McGowan to Mumbit. Well, moving now moving into space, caught by Cullen and Woods. Redfern to Mercer. David Redfern on to David Hobbs. Hobbs storms forward. Three Warrington players go there to meet him and bring him down. Noble out it goes with Robinson. Swings it back to Heron. Noble to Robinson, across to Redfern, Redfern into the hands of Stewart, puts up a kick. Cullen comes away with it. Les Boyd has it for Warrington, swings it onto a party. A risky pass and it was a dramatic pick up from Dave Lyon, beats his man nicely. And Warrington come away. As of a tricky situation. Les Boyd storms in. Boyd still crashing forward, throws a risky pass out. Well taken a goal again by Dave Lyon. Who then kicks downfield and it goes straight into the hands of Mumbit. Keith Mumbit then moves back inside the Warrington half of the field. A good sidestep. The pass is over along with Sanderson bringing him down. Russell Stewart, short one this time. Robinson swings it back to Hill. Nice pass to Phil Ford. Four, nice little size step, gets the ball away to Mercer. But Drummond had come across to stop Mercer going through along with John Woods. Noble, Robinson, nice pass to Redfern into space. Fairbank, nice run here from Fairbank, still going. Redfern, Robinson, Bradford looking dangerous now with McGowan. McGowan moving forward. Couple of tackles left then here for Bradford Northern. Midway inside the Warrington 25. David Hobbs, Hobbs. Redford got for a turn into space. Now goes Russell Stewart, finds support. And Robinson stopped 10 yards short. Six tackle here for Northern. 
Little chip through from Hobbs, straight in the hands of Brian Johnson. And Warrington once again, breathe again, right. Close to the own line, swung out with Rapati. Les Boyd this time. And the ball been dropped. And that will be a knock on and a scrum down. Robinson puts the ball in, Bradford in possession again, Redfern takes it, stopped by Ronnie Dwayne once again, then Bradford, five more tackles inside the Warrington, 25, Hill. Robinson, Heron, he slips off, and Les Boy comes in to finish off the tackle. Goes out with Robinson, Redfern into the hands of Fairbank. Fairbank storms through onto Stewart. Gets the ball back to Mercer. Mercer's storming for the Warrington line. He stops a couple of yards short. Warrington once again under pressure at the moment. Redfern swings it back. Hill. Warrington once again, the defence holding firm. Just a couple of yards from the try line. Noble swings it back, one round move, brings in Heron, and Heron scores. The try had to come, Bradford put it on immense pressure there, and it's Wayne Heron who goes over and scores. So David Hobbs then to try and tie the scores. It's eight each. Ah, uh, no mistake from David Hobbs. Nine minutes left in this first half. It's now Warrington eight points, Bradford Northern eight. Woods then restarts, finds one deep, Phil Ford comes for it, then knocks on. And that could be a costly mistake from Phil Ford. Tried to pick up the ball on the run. Wasn't successful, he's looking to scrum down just five yards from the northern line. Ball goes in and northern in possession, but the ball comes straight out. Scrum will reform once more. Crompton puts the ball in, Warrington in possession, once again the ball comes straight out. Here while the scrum collapses. Crompton worked with third time lucky, and it goes. And the penalty given to Warrington, foot up in the scrum. Here's Warrington, six tackles, Crompton takes it quickly, up to go through himself. He's just pushed back that time, Bury Fairbank, Jackson this time, onto Boyd, Sanderson. Jackson this time, trying to go through in stove, he's stopped a couple of yards short. Sanderson, back to Woods, Crompton, into Roberts, good tackle though by Mumby. Woods once more to Crompton, swings it back to Rapati, gets out of one tackle, he's crashing for the line. He stops an inch short by a good saving tackle from Mumby once more. Jackson this time across to Woods, Woods. A long pass, will it be picked up by Lyon? No, Phil Ford gets there first. And Phil Ford there makes up for his earlier error. 
Uh, perhaps a try saving take there as Dave Lyon was trying to get at the corner. Cal Fairback slowing things down for Bradford. Moving into the last six or seven minutes. Ball's been dropped. And that will be a knock on and a scrum down. Fairbank has a few things to say to the referee and the linesman. And another scrum down. Crompton puts the ball in. And Robinson has it. And a little bit of a scuffle in the scrum. And Les Boyd being called over. He'll have a talking to from the referee. And a penalty given to Bradford Northern. And Mumbai puts the ball safely into touch. Two balls on the field. Noble, Hobbs, Hill. Good tackle from Mark Roberts. Noble plays it back to Robinson. Little side step. Stopped in midfield by Sanderson and Roberts once more. Noble into space comes Heron. Noble once more plays it back to Brennan Hill. One handed pass intercepted by Crompton, but then it's dropped. Hobbs swings it out to Roger Simpson. Cullen pushes it towards touch, and he's just in. Roger Simpson's knee just crossing the line. Ball goes in from Crompton, waits in possession, Woods, Cullen, or how he was, lost the gap and finds it. John Woods away now, still John Woods, a nice pass to Dave Lyon. Lyon now going for the corner, cuts back inside, beats two men, Dave Lyon still pushing forward, Lyon still going. Finally stopped just 11 yards short of the northern line. Goes out with John Woods, Woods swings it back to Boyd, Boyd crashes forward, beats one man, back inside, Chaz is here for Dwayne, he's powering towards the line. He's held up right over the northern line, in fact he's over it now. Just being pushed back by the Northern defence. Right on the Northern line then. Johnson swings out to Crompton. Woods, little dummy, goes back left though. John Woods going for the line. Beats one man again. Held a couple of yards short and pushed back this time. And the knock on. Sure the referee should have called held. As John Woods being pushed all over the place. Well, they'll have a scrum down midway inside the Northern 25. Robinson puts the ball in, swings it quickly now. McGowan without his boot, powering forward. Mercer. Three and a half minutes left, we're on square at eight all in this first half. Redfern swings it out to Heron, cuts back inside. Caught by Ronnie Dwayne. Redfern, across it goes, Hobbs into the hands of Mercer, gets away from Cullen. Roger Simpson, Hobbs kicks downfield, looks a good kick from Hobbs but just bounces dead. And that will be a tap from the 25 yard line for Warrington. Jackson takes it, hands it on to John Woods, Woods to Boyd, Boyd runs straight. Jackson, on to Sanderson. Jackson to Roberts, flying down that far side. Swung out with Crompton, floated pass in the hands of Woods, Woods brings in Rapati. Rapati trying to go through himself, turns, but the ball smothered this time by Redfern. John Woods onto Cullen. 
Six tackle then for Warrington. Woods to Crompton. Chips it over the top, follows it himself. Robinson misses it, knocks it back. Picked up by Fairbank, hands it on to Mumby. Mumby moves forward, skips out of one tackle. Finally caught by Dwayne and Boyd. Into the final minute now of this first half. Phil Ford has it for Bradford. Hobbs, nice pass to Hill, but Hill stopped the good tackle. From Joe Rapati. Russell Stewart, chipped through by Hobbs, but Mark Roberts dives on it. Kerr wanting to get one last score on the board at the end of this first half. Lenny Dwayne looking for it. Jackson out to Crompton. Sanderson, but Sanderson knocks on. Another scrum down then. Waits in possession, Crompton dives on the ball ahead of Robinson. Now moving into injury time at the end of this first half, Drummond laces Cullen back to Johnson, just goes behind him. Well, it's a knock on, and that will be another scrum down. Goes in from Robinson, brings in Simpson. Stopped by Woods and Cunt. And in fact, there goes the half time who top. The team is going at half time, level at eight points each. Wayne's a try from Martin Crompton and two John Woods goals. Bradford a try from Wayne Heron and two David Hobbs goals. So half time here at Will Spill is Warrington eight, Bradford Northern eight. So the team's back on for the second half. The score's level at 8-8. Eight, eight. Far two minutes to decide which team will take the two points. Those in front, two points in the Storms Better Championship. And it's John Woods who gets the game restarted. Roger Simpson takes it nicely. Roger Simpson moves forward. Stopped for first tackle from Gary Sanderson of the second half. Goes out to Mumbit. Short one this time onto Fairbank. Goes back this time to Hobbs. Kicks into the hands of Drummond, who just manages to take it spectacularly. Drummond crashes in. Drummond's still going. So Warrington then the first attack of the second half, just outside the 25, it's with Dwayne to Boyd. Boyd moves into the 25, Bradford Nolan before he stopped. No doubt, an early try for me, the sign will put good height into the side, as Ronnie Dwayne pushed back this time, and the ball yanked from his hands, and that will be a penalty to Warrington. So perhaps another chance for Warrington to get back in front at the start of this second half.
Woods then. And this time it goes wide. So the score stays at Warrington 8. We're at for Northern 8. But Warrington should regain possession with Northern to drive out from their own 25. Mumby then drops out. Truman leaves it for Ronnie Dwayne. Ronnie Dwayne then moving forward. And he has lost the ball. The Northern in possession, midway inside the Warrington half. Hill out to Noble. Hobbs, Mark Roberts though is well up. To stop David Hobbs. Noble. Robinson, little dummy, finds a huge gap, Robinson, nice little dummy, Robinson still going, finds the port from Brendan Hill, Hill pounding forward, it's does drumming back there, the game for Warrington defending with Bob Jackson and Brian Johnson, and Bradford now on the attack, goes out with Robinson, Redfern, poor pass, McGowan, good tackle from Cullen, McGowan though is up again, gets out of another tackle, McGowan still going, Stewart left with Redfern on to Fairbank. Five tackles then with pass for Bradford. This is the six just on the way to 25. Russell Stewart plays it back to Hobbs. He lines up a drop goal but goes low, wide, and the score stays at 8 8. And Wainton with a tap for their own 25. Jackson to John Woods to Boyd, to Sanderson. Boyd once more, shot to Cullen. Jackson once again, rushes in. Cullen to Crompton, cross to Woods. Slip past to Roberts, Roberts powering through, back to John Woods. Woods gets away from one tackle onto Roy Dwayne, Dwayne to Johnson. Just goes behind the party, it's picked up by Brennan Hill. And Hill finally swung to the floor by Joe Party. And Hill stayed down. And a penalty being given, Les Boyd. Can't believe it, well Brennan Hill just seemed to stay down there. As soon as he got the penalty, he seemed to stand up, nothing wrong with him. But Bradford have the penalty. Mumby then. Fires the ball into touch. Over on that far side. It's on to Brennan Hill. Turns. Nice pass to Mercer. Mercer will stop by drumming over on that far side. Hobbs gets the ball back. Stewart, another nice dummy. Runs into Boyd this time. The ball yet from his hands. And Northern back in possession. Six more tackles for Bradford Northern. Goes with Robinson. And that's it on to Fairbank. Fairbanks, lots of support, finds it. This time it's Simpson. To Heron, Mercer, Mercer flying through, it's on Bradford at the moment. Heron, Heron powering through again. Stopped by Ronnie Dwayne, just six or seven yards short. Hobbs, the round moves, swung back to Mumby. Mumby trying to find a gap, but can't this time. And the ball's been dropped, and Brian Johnson has it. And Warrington breathe again. It's not looking dangerous. Tony Humphreys now powering forward. Still Humphreys. Bradford Northern player flat out at the moment. Looks like Fairbank. Oh, Heron. In fact, it is Wayne Heron. Wayne can play it across the line as Roy Dwayne trying to power through. And the ball yanked from his hands again. Gives Wayne a penalty. Dave Lyon then puts the ball safe into touch over on that far side. Jackson taps it to Boyd. Boyd drives forward. 
Jackson again to Crompton, short onto Humphreys. Jackson to Crompton, Woods, Woods straightens up. Still John Woods, finally caught by Hobbs, gets it back to Humphreys. Humphreys moves into space and then slips at the feet of Redfern. Crompton, picked up by Dwayne, gets the ball back to Woods. Boyd plays it onto Cullen. Cullen looking to go through the gap to Reparte. Reparte onto Johnson. Johnson to Lyon. Lyon must go at the corner. And he does. Dave Lyon scores in the corner. After a nice move, Reparte latched onto a Cullen pass. Had support from Johnson. Johnson fed Lyon to score in the corner. but just doesn't kill any enough. And that makes the score Warrington 12, Bradford Northern 8, with eight minutes gone in this second half. Hobbs once again fires one deep. Picked up by Dave Lyon. Lyon strides out. Caught by Russell Stewart. Bob Jackson. Woods to Sanderson. This time it's Bob Jackson making ground from the play of the ball. Sanderson to Woods. To Boyd, slip pass, Boyd still going, but that's crossing. And that will be penalty to Bradford. There's Boyd contesting the issue. And David Hoss will try and pull two points back for Bradford. Hobbs then, and strikes it safely through, and reduces the deficit to just two points. Warrington 12, Bradford Northern 10. Woods restarts. Safely taken by Robinson, he really hands it on to Roger Simpson. Simpson, though, caught by Cullen and Roberts. Keith Mumby. Play shot with Hill. Goes out with Hobbs, shot one onto Fairbank. Fairbank still driving forward, still car, Fairbank driving forward, still Fairbank, lots of support, Fairbank, and finally dragged back by Ronnie Dwayne. Redfern, across it goes the line, well taken by Heron, but Hobbs drops it. And Warrington back in possession, Bob Jackson swings it onto John Woods, to Humphreys.
this time it's with Roberts Roberts gets away for one tackle Roberts still going find support from Jackson Jackson trying to get the ball away but the ball smothered by Hill Drummond this time out to Crompton Wood swings it back to Boyd Crompton Crompton straightens up still Crompton John Woods out to Rapati. Rapati looks for a gap. Still Joe Rapati. That's five tackles for Warrington. This is the sixth. John Woods has it. Chips it over the top. Follows it himself. Just misses it. Hill has it. Warrington have six more tackles. Six more tackles then inside the Northern 25. Crompton on to Boyd. Boyd now. Back inside to Johnson. Johnson flies through the gap. An important tackle comes in from Mumby. Boyd again goes himself from the play of the ball, swings it out to Jackson, Jackson straightens up, goes to the port, finds it from Sanderson, Sanderson gets away from one tackle, finally brought down by Wayne Heron, just six yards from the northern line, it's with Woods, Crompton, brings in Dwayne, Dwayne powering for the line. Crompton acting half back, short to Humphreys, Humphreys, Powers for the Northern line, that's five tackles, this is the sixth. Jackson just fires it across and the ball drops and Crompton nearly had it again. But Northern have it. Brennan Hill coming away with it for Northern. Mather matching the Yorkshire Cup final replay. Horace Brown for the Yorkshire Cup holders while Lancashire Cup runners up. Warrington as Hobbs kicks downfield. Goes behind Johnson. Johnson takes it safely. On to Dave Lyon. Lyon sprints down this near touch line, beats his man the outside. Still Dave Lyon. Back inside the northern half he goes. Brian Johnson to Crompton. To John Woods across the line. Still John Woods. Just caught though by Fairbank. The ball loose. Warrington back in possession, six more tackles it should be, is it? And it is. Warrington has six more tackles. Bob Jackson takes it, short with Boyd. Boyd drives forward. Jackson to Sanderson. Jackson once more, cross with Crompton. Woods. Brings in Rapati, Rapati crashes through one tackle. Finally dragged down by David Redfern. John Woods out to Roberts, Roberts swings it back to Dwayne. Dwayne goes across field looking to hand off men but can't. Six tackle, John Woods, Cullen puts a high one up himself and follows it. Roger Simpson though takes it well. Blind side Mumby. Point tackle though comes in from Cullen. 15 minutes already gone this second half. Warrington lead by 12 points to 10. And this top of the table clash between second and third place teams in the table. Pats a kick coming in here. No, Hobbs decides to run it. Swings it out. But a crunching tackle there from Des Drummond and looks like Paul Cullen. This gives Wayne some possession. Boyd to Dwayne. Dwayne looking to hand off Redfern. John Woods scores himself in the play of the ball. Finds support from Johnson. Johnson plays it back to Sanderson. Sanderson's dragged down by Russell Stewart. Woods this time, out with Crompton, Drummond beats his man, still Drummond, kicked across field into the hands of Woods, Woods gives a dummy, and the referee gives offside. Well, when Cullen did kick the ball, it went straight into the hands of John Woods, he was a choice to be offside by the referee. Mumby puts the ball into the main stand over on that far side. 
just inside their own half. Goes out this time, well taken by Robinson onto Stewart. Go this time to Fairbank. Talked about a passport, decided to keep hold. Robinson swings it out to Hobbs. Kick straight into the hands of Drummond. And Warrington back in possession. The ball goes behind Cullen into a Bradford hand. Fairbank to Redfern. On to Phil Floyd. Ford back to McGowan, to Ford, Ford going across field, straightens up still, Phil Ford finally slips as he meets Crompton, Brian Noble, this time it's Robinson, left, space for Redfern, but Stewart though, makes a good tackle from Paul Cullen, Redfern to Hobbs, Hobbs goes himself, looks for a gap, stopped on the Wellington 25. Couple of tackles left here for Norland. Goes back to Heron, Heron chips it through himself. Dwayne drops it, Woods dives on it. Dwayne moves forward himself. John Woods this time, swings it back to Boyd. Boyd back to Jackson. On to Sanderson. Jackson this time plays it back to Dave Lyon. Lyon kicks downfield. Northern will be back in possession. Humphrey storming forward. And catches Roger Simpson along with Cullen. Gary Mercer. And Warrington offside. And will David Hobbs try and turn the scores? So, referee's first offside decision of the game gives David Hobbs a chance to turn the scores. 20 minutes into the second half. Then comes up, but goes wide and well taken by Ronnie Dwayne, which means Warrington back in possession. Ronnie Dwayne powering forward, clears his lines well with a good run before he stopped by Robinson. Jackson this time onto Sanderson. Sanderson moves forward, makes five or six yards before he stopped by the second row pair of Heron and Fairbank. And this time, Northern offside. Dave Lyon, good kick from Dave Lyon. So Warrington, the scores at Warrington 12, Northern 10. Halfway through the second half, 20 minutes to go. Boyd. Boyd held up just inside the 25, plays it to Jackson. On the burst comes Humphreys. Jackson to Crompton, Woods on the first comes Roberts, beats one man, still Roberts, back to Woods, Woods swings across to Cullen, Cullen back to Drummond, Drummond now straightens up, runs into Simpson, gets away from him, still Drummond, the, then the Bradford cover coming, the ball loose, and there's Drummond, riding around on the floor,
Uh, looks a very dangerous tackle there, he was. Very dangerous tackle indeed, and Sony Barrow coming on. There's Durham back to his feet. And there's Durham back to his feet after a very violent tackle. They're afraid they'll always play on. Boynton moving in, Les Boyd in there. Things now we get into hot up. And the ball's going in the hands of Boyd and that is a scrum down. Scrums win and turn in midway side of the northern 25. Crompton puts the ball in. Crompton has it on towards was now flying through onto Drummond. Drummond looks to beat his man on the outside. Just caught by Roger Simpson. Woods once more. Crompton took it well across to Roberts. Roberts trying to go through himself. The ball loose. Roberts has it, but it's a knock on. And another scrum down midway side of the northern 25. 16 minutes to go. And a penalty given to Bradford Northern. <laughs> and the referee coming over Bob Jackson and Les Boyd. And Bob Jackson having a talking to from the referee. Not many really times since Bob Jackson has been played hooker. Maybe even his first time, but being cautioned there by the referee. Far butting, clear indicated by Fred Lindup. Mumbi puts the line to touch. Ford takes it, swings it across to Hobbs, onto Hill. Roberts was quickly up there. And Heron did well to take that one. Noble goes himself in to play the ball. Thoughts about passing, decides to keep hold of Mark Roberts. Had him well tackled, Ford, across it goes. Hobbs decides to kick downfield. And a fine kick from David Hobbs, takes play inside the Warrington 25 with a fine kick. Scums once again, wheel and turn. Crompton puts the ball in. Robinson knocks on. Crompton puts the ball in again. Northern in possession. Dwayne will come away from the base of the scrum to bring down Robinson. Northern's now there, turn to attack. Redfern swings it across to Stewart. Looks to the port, finds it from Mumby. Redfern. Swings it across to Mercer, Ford, Phil Ford still has it, Ford still going. Noble, short to Hill. Plays it to Noble, switches it back to Heron, Heron slips, six tackle there for Bradford. Russell Stewart plays it out to Hobbs. Hobbs kicks across field. Knocked down by Cullen. And that would be a drop out beneath the post for Warrington. And Neil Howen about to come on for Les Boyd.
so Neil Harmon comes on and Les Boyd leaves the field John Woods drops out Fairbank nice one handed pass back to Stewart good tackle from Humphreys just over 10 minutes to go just two points in it at Warrington 12 Bradford 10 goes out with Robinson swings out a pass to Mercer Mercer slips and the referee is going to penalise Tony Humphreys for slipping he went over missed the player completely and he's penalised for it And once again, David Hodge will try and tie the scores. So David Hobbs to left of the posts as we look. About 35 yards out. Three goals so far this afternoon. Hobbs strikes it well and strikes it safely through. And the scores are level at 12 all. So, 10 minutes to go. And it's Warrington 12, Branford Northern 12 as John Woods restarts. Roger Simpson takes it safely. Roger Simpson caught by Roberts, then manages to get away with him, then being pushed back. So, everything to play for at 12 all. Noble plays it to Fairbank. Goes to Hobbs who kicks downfield. Brian Johnson calls for it and takes it safely. Johnson then caught by Phil Ford. Dave Lyon. Woods this time to Harmon, Harmon powers forward still Neil Harmon turned but couldn't get the ball away Jackson to Crompton, cross to John Woods, Woods swings a nice pass out onto Drummond, is it no yes Drummond still has it and the knock on and the scrum down Drummond's certainly taking a fair amount of stick over on that far side referee allows it to go on Robinson puts the ball in the scum's wheel and turn. But the scum collapses. And once again, Andy Robinson will have to put the ball in for Bradford Norton. Ball goes in, Norton in possession. Stewart, Mercer. And penalty to Warrington. And in fact, he's given the scum down for a forward pass. Crompton puts the ball in. And a penalty offside. Andy Robinson. So with the scores at 12 12 and eight minutes to go. What can Winter make of this? Dave Lyon to put for touch. Lyon right footed swings it in. So six tackles there for Warrington, just inside the Northern 25. Jackson on to Dave Lyon. Dave Lyon skips out of one tackle. Bob Jackson, on comes Harmon. Harmon driving for the line.
Jackson, Humphreys. Wonder if going to maybe working towards a drop goal position as Jackson mad rush to Roberts, Roberts crashing for the line, he stops a couple of yards short, couple of tackles left here for Wellington. Roberts goes for himself and he's there, Mark Roberts taps it to himself and scores. Great thinking there from Mark Roberts. Tap the ball to himself, right on the northern line. And the Northern defence couldn't hold him and good thinking from Roberts puts Warrington back in front. With the conversion to come from John Woods. And Bradford about to make a substitution. As John Woods slots it through. So Warrington 18, Bradford Northern 12. Substitution being made by Warrington as well. Les Boyd has come back on. And Joe Apache has gone off. And Paul Gration has come on for Bradford in place of Lewis Hall, David Redfern. Mercer restarts. Safely taken from Brian Johnson. Johnson then moving out to his own 25. Goes himself, beats his mark the outside, Brian Johnson now still going. Fine run from Johnson there, finally being pulled back. He was pushed into touch there, surely was held. Referee ways play on. Cullen. Cullen drives in. Jackson this time. Crompton, Woods across the line to Humphreys. Humphreys gets away from one onto Dwayne. Dwayne trying to parry his way through. The ball, in fact, has gone loose. And uh, Pelsey has gone to Bradford Norton. Five minutes to go as Mummy puts the ball into touch. It was Brennan Hill who's gone off and here is substitute now, Gration. Bradford looking for a quick reply here. Hobbs swings it back this time to Heron. Swung back. Russell Stewart, but no way through for Mercer. Hobbs run around, move onto Robinson, Redfern. Well spotted by Paul Cullen. Gration. Gets the ball back to Robinson. But Robinson being pushed back this time. Six tackle for Northern. Hobbs. Swings the ball back to Heron. Swings across to four. Slip pass to... Fairbank, Fairbank kicks one upfield. Brian Johnson takes it well. Brian Johnson moves out, knocks off one man, knocks off another. Great break here from Johnson, hands on to Dave Lyon. Lyon cuts back inside. Good play there for Warrington, especially Johnson and Lyon linked up well there. This time it's Ronnie Dwayne, powers forward. The ball loose, picked up by Drummond, goes back. Bob Jackson picks it up, well that'll be a knock on and a scrum down. With four minutes to go. Tony Humphreys, today's man of the match. Ball goes in. Crompton has it. Sanderson. Goes on this blind side, looking to move into space. Stopped by David Hobbs. There's Boyd. Boyd plays it to himself. And referee spots a knock on.
Ball goes in, comes straight out to Phil Ford. Ford going across field, hands it on to McGowan. McGowan moving into space, but John Woods comes across. McGowan still going. Still McGowan onto Ford. Phil Ford going through, clipped by the legs of Sanderson, throws the ball back. Trompton then hits Simpson. Robinson, Heron. Three minutes to go, Northern on the attack, just outside the 25, it goes across with Mumby. Robinson to Gration, Gration trying to drive through. Warrington defence holds firm at the moment. Robinson, hands it on to Noble, swings it back to Robinson. Some tired legs out there now. Two minutes to go, David Hobbs. Across to Heron, Redfern across the line to Fairbank. Fairbank stops as he meets Dwayne, throws the ball back. Mumby goes to pick it up and drops it. And offside there against Russell Stewart. An immediate reaction and it was penalised and that should be the game for Warrington with just a minute and a half to go. And Warrington leading by 18 points to 12. Bob Jackson seems to be in some trouble, maybe a bit of cramp. And Kevin Talent will come on for the last minute or so. And Kevin Talent comes on. And Bob Jackson leaves the field. And in the final minute. Warrington no doubt will just play out these last six tackles and the two points will be there which will at least guarantee them second place once more in the Stones Winter Championship. <laughs> Boy, is who takes it himself. On to Harmon, Harmon powering forward. Final minute, can Warrington to get another try on the ball and seal things with Humphreys, man of the match, powering forward again, Humphreys still going, he stopped five yards short. Tamati waits for his acting half, back Tamati, goes across field, Sanderson, nice to go sidestep, going for the line himself, he's held right up the northern line. Tamati swings it back to Woods, Humphreys just caught this time. John Woods, slip pass to Roberts, throws the ball back to Drummond, on to Tamati, Tamati, done his one man then caught by Hobbs, six tackle, will want to seal it with a drop goal, or will he go for the try? Goes back to Woods, gives the dummy, still John Woods, cuts through, throws the ball back, Roberts drops it, and that's a knock on a Northern back in possession. Length of the field to go in injury time. Phil Ford, perhaps the one man who could do it. And in fact, there goes the final hoot up. Warrington win a very hard and tough match by 18 points to 12. Tries Dave Lyon, Martin Crompton and Mark Roberts. John Woods had three goals. Bradford in reply, just one try from David Heron. Four goals from David Hobbs. So Warrington regain that second place in the Stones Pitted Championship. This has been your commentator Tony Gleave at Willisville with the final score of Warrington 18 points, Bradford Northern 12. <laughs>